Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Wee's GNZ Gaming and even Foxy. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video this video is all about on how to install the all-in-one mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder so like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require enable all interiors so I'll leave this inside my description below. Now this does require Lemon UI. When you do go to Lemon UI, really important. Keep scrolling down and download version 1.5.2 download 1.5.2 do not download the latest version now this does require native UI as well so download the latest version now once you have completed downloading all other required files then now we can get started just to let you guys know that this video was requested by the viewers and I have already did a video about this mod two years ago and it still works in 2023 so let's get started so all you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location next if you do not have a skits folder simply right click go to new and create a new folder and name that folder scripts make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure that it's all lowercase open up your scripts folder and now let's begin first and first open up your lemon ui extract folder go to your shvdn3 folder and select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder Next, go to your SHVDN2 folder, select all the files and drag it inside your SCUDS folder. Then simply exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your Enable All Interiors extract folder. Then go to your Enable All Interiors mod files. Then go to your SCUDS folder. Then simply select all of the files and folder except for the text file and drag all those contents into your scripts folder then exit out of your extract folder now next open up your native extract folder and now simply select both files and drag it inside your scripts folder then exit out of your extract folder now lastly open up your all in one extract folder go to your AIO menu folder go to scripts then simply select all of the files and folder and drag it inside your scripts folder then exit out of your extract folder now next go to your graphic audio v main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you all in the game and 
and now we are back in the game so as you guys can see my game is frozen so don't worry about that okay it will come back eventually like that now once you're in the game okay the first thing that you must do is go to your contacts on your phone then go right down to the bottom then go to enable all interiors next go to change an interior now this is optional you can do whatever with all this okay but really important go right down to the bottom to misc options and i'll make sure that you enable your markers and make sure that load mp max on mod refresh is enabled and even enable blips now this is optional enable random color blips as well next exit out of your menu then go to your refresh interiors and press enter wait for a few seconds and then now exit out of your menu now on your keyboard press insert your game will freeze but only a few seconds or maybe a minute now it's finished to open up your all-in-one mod menu on your keyboard press shift and press your arrow key left now purchase or set up your settings okay i'm not gonna go through this whole thing okay you know what to do set up your options and set up everything okay uh once you have finished setting up your know, yeah basically setting up your settings go to jobs and heist and this is where all of the heist and jobs starts you can do the diamond heist and uh, other heists, the weed, and other jobs, and etc. Uh, yeah, you can do do them all. Now, I did test everything, and they all work, okay? So, they all work, so don't worry. I have already tested them. But, let's go and do a job, okay? Last play. So, we need to go and steal the coke. So where is it? Uh, it's over there. Now obviously I am going to use mods because it's much faster to use mods. So I'm just going to teleport there. Take out all your enemies, okay? Take out all your enemies. The other cake. Then I'll go to the location, okay? Uh, where's the location? Is it nearby? No, it's not over there. It's at Gerald's. I'm just gonna teleport here. I'm not gonna go and kill them. I can't be bothered. There you go. Now, remember guys, it's more fun if you do it without mods, okay? So don't use mods. And then there you go. It's like online. And then there you go. Finish. Now remember what I said, don't use mods, okay, because it does spoil the fun. And plus, there's loads of jobs and heists to do. You just need to go through this whole list and find which one you want to do, okay? So that is it, okay? And I'll see you guys on my PC. And we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. Now, like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck in installing any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk, then let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Now, unfortunately, I'm not active inside my YouTube comments. I'm more active inside my Discord server. So make sure that you go inside my description below and now go and join my Discord server and now you can get more help and support faster inside my Discord server. 
Now, I forgot to mention this to everybody inside my video in the beginning, but if you do get an error, okay, then you will need to go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and only now after that, go to your scripthookv.ini file, double click, and make sure that you change your reload key to insert. Okay, so that's only if you get an error about the, your insert button, okay? So make sure that you do change your reload key to insert. Really important, okay? So that's only if you get an error, okay, when you enter the game. So with that said, I hope you guys do enjoy your mods. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, and I'm out.